that's my quarterback. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Ain't you no know chance what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. Ain't you no know chance what I mean. You two team keep it clean. You two team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ain't Raven here with another video and I did not think will be making this video but Lamar Jackson he said I ain't letting that ride man I'm not letting that slide you could talk about me all you want to because y'all talk about me all you want to but if it's gonna be talking about something that I did involving the kids involving the young people from where I'm from when I try to do something positive for them no nah. Not letting it slide. I don't care about no PFF top 50 list. I don't care about top this, top that. You call me what you want to, but you ain't going to talk about the people where I'm from. Lamar Jackson responded to all the hate and over criticism and over analyzing and over emphasizing that he's been receiving over the past 48 hours. Now, of course, we know and we did the video on what pro football talks Mike Florio had to say. And, and he, he did have a valid point about Lamar Jackson coming up on his money. Yes, we know Lamar Jackson is getting ready to get paid. He's getting ready to make a lot of money. But like I said in the video, at the same time, he cannot just sit around and be stiff necked and just be bubble boy. No, he can't do that. Nobody's doing that. Anything could happen at any time, whether you're doing the right thing, whether you're doing the wrong thing, or whether you're doing something that's neutral. It does not matter. Anything could happen at any time. But I know so many people just got, they got so upset. Oh, oh man, he's playing, he's playing street football on the basketball court. It's so dangerous. He could get hurt. I was just having a conversation with my guy Jason yesterday. And I was talking about how with Lamar Jackson, he is one of the biggest, for a lot of analysts and experts, he is one of the biggest what-if quarterbacks ever. Ever. They always talk about what if he gets hurt? What's going to happen if he takes the wrong hit? What's going to happen if he gets popped the wrong way? That's what they always talk about with Lamar Jackson. But why? Because it doesn't happen. That stuff just doesn't happen. They overanalyze how much he runs in the football season. Does he run a lot? Well, yes, yeah, certainly to get to 1,000 yards, he has to do some significant running, especially from the quarterback position. But they take that and they take the numbers and then, oh, man, he's going to get hit too much. He's getting hit too much. Oh, man, he's going to get hurt. That play style is not going to last. But guess what? Has Lamar Jackson been missing all these games due to injury? No. Is Lamar Jackson injury prone? No. And are we saying that it, nothing can happen to Lamar Jackson? No, we're not saying that. But has it? No. But these commentators and these analysts and these writers and these experts, they continue to live on the what if when it comes to Lamar Jackson and not the what is. But anyway, Lamar Jackson clapped back at all of that today. And he said, it's better to have them kids out there having fun than playing with guns and stuff. So next year, we're running it back with even more fun. <laughs> hey, running it back with even more fun. So Lamar Jackson shut all of that down. And this is big because you know Lamar Jackson, he doesn't respond to that stuff. You know he sees it. You know he sees it. But he doesn't often respond to that stuff. The biggest responses we know when it comes to Lamar Jackson has been when he responded to uh, the, the radio commentator. Uh, I think who used to work for the 49ers back then and where he said that he couldn't he, he, he got the football mixed up with Lamar Jackson's skin. He couldn't, he said it, was, it wasn't fair because uh, the players couldn't see the football because it was the same color as Lamar's skin, something like that. And then, um, and he responded to that in the following game against the Bills. I think he came out with no sleeves at first, and then he put on white sleeves in the second half, something like that. I always get it mixed up. But then, of course, there was also everybody heading into the 2019 season say, oh, he's a running back. He's not a quarterback. He's a running back. Because in the 2018 season, he did a lot of running. He did a lot of running. He didn't get hit often at all, but you know some people like to say that anyway. But anyway, he came out 2019 season against the Miami Dolphins down here at the crib. But anyway, and threw 
One, two, three, four. Jackson 5 touchdown special. That was the beginning of the Jackson 5 touchdown special. We would see it again throughout that season. But anyway, he came out through five touchdowns against the Dolphins. Opening week. And then he responded post-game. And he said, not bad for a running back. So we know that he hears everything. Everything that the media is saying. Everything that these critics are saying. Everything that all these people are saying. He hears it. But... Nine times out of 10, probably 9.9 .9 times out of 10, he just lets it ride. He lets it go off his shoulder and he just doesn't even acknowledge it. Ever. Doesn't acknowledge it. But this one, Lamar said, oh no, that's not going to fly. And you know what? I'm glad he did. Because he didn't do it in a disrespectful way at all. And he gave everybody that's been talking and chirping about him, about this. He gave them a reminder, like, hey, uh, these kids out here, especially where he's from, he knows. He knows it's better to have them kids out here having fun, having fun, enjoying themselves, having a good time. It's better for them to be out there having fun than playing with guns. Because we certainly wouldn't want them doing that. We definitely wouldn't want them doing that. that that's not productive at all, at all. So with Lamar Jackson, with, with this clapback, I'm with it because he, he lets you know like, hey, I don't care. It, it ain't about me. It's about them. And again, like we said when we first did the video on this about the event itself, it was always about them. It was always about them. And he was doing a positive thing in the community. And again, it was free free he didn't charge a cent for anything if you wanted some extra food at the food truck i mean you had to pay for that but to get in to play to chill with lamar to take a picture with lamar to do it to talk to him he did not charge for that he didn't charge for that he could have could have made a nice little chunk of money now and, and, and like i said he might have gotten paid for the appearance or whatnot but he could have charged and, and it wouldn't have been a problem with that because people would have definitely paid, but he didn't. He didn't. Because even, even if he would have charged five, ten dollars for a ticket, think about this. Seriously. Not everybody has five or ten dollars for a ticket. Some people are on their last. Every single day, some people are on their last. And some of y'all may look at that or think about that or hear that and be like, what? Five, ten dollars for a ticket? That's nothing. Well, to you, it might not be. But to somebody else it is. And if, say for instance, it's a family that's struggling. Struggling. They live in, not even week to week, but day to day. And they like, oh man. Lamar Jackson, they know where he's from. They from the same neighborhood. And this family, they really want to go to this event. Oh man, Lamar Jackson, he done made it out. We want to go say what's up to him, congratulate him. He going to be in the city. Okay, let's go slide on him, man. But it's a family of five, a mom, four kids, even a mom and dad with three kids. Either way, that's five tickets. If that's five a piece, five tickets for five dollars a piece, that's twenty five dollars. If they don't have that, they can't go. They can't go. So they may see this opportunity and be like, oh, man, sorry, kids, we can't make it. Sorry, kids, we can't go. But if the event is free. If you don't have to pay a dime, you don't have to pay anything, that family doesn't have to go through that. That family doesn't have to be like, oh, sorry, kids. We know he's, he's going to be in town and whatnot, but we can't go see him. Sorry. No, they don't have to do that because it was free for the kids, for the families. They had, you think those bounce houses that was out there? And they had four bounce houses, four of them. So they, you had plenty of time and opportunity for your kids to go through each one. They had four bounce houses. And it, like now those kids who were, could possibly have missed the event, now they get to go. It's, it, it was for the kids, man. For the kids. And you think like this dude, he's inspiring these young kids too. Letting them know like, hey, you ain't got to do all the dumb stuff. You ain't got to. You can make it out, man. It's, it's way more ways out. You ain't got to fool with all the foolishness, man. Stay out of that. So it's like 
But people try to take that and they try to put a negative spin on it. Sort of like everything that Lamar Jackson does, they try to do that. But they try to take this event, this positive event, and try to try to make it a negative thing. And that's that's exactly what it was not. So shout out to Lamar. I'm glad he did this. This is a great move. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out.